What's up, everybody? This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. So we've been getting a lot of case leaks and spec leaks about the Galaxy Note 10. Supposed to be the win-all, be-all of 2019. Supposed to be the best phone on the planet. Or is it really? Listen, the Galaxy Note 9 is a fantastic phone. I'm going to give you five reasons why the Galaxy Note 9 may be a better buy than the Galaxy Note 10. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. I'm going to give you five reasons why the Galaxy Note 9 may be a better buy than the Galaxy Note 10. Of course the Galaxy Note 10 gonna be the beast, the monster. 855 processor, eight gigs of RAM, 12 gigs of RAM, all the bells and whistles, right? But does it really have all the bells and whistles? Let's go down and talk about it. The first reason why the Galaxy Note 9 may be a better buy than the Galaxy Note 10 is the design. Look, I am not a fan of the, the, the camera holes on the side of the device. Also, we at this point where everybody want a bezel-less display. I am not a fan of bezel-less displays, especially if you're trying to grip the phone and you, got, you get all these false touches and stuff like that. Having a little tiny forehead and chin is great. In my opinion, the Galaxy Note 9 is great when it comes down to the design. I like the little forehead and chin for grippability so you don't have no false touches, no ghost touches and stuff like that. I mean, it, it's a phone, right? And it's designed perfectly for the average consumer. When you pull out the S Pen, you get work done, you got a little forehead and chin, not bezel-less, but it is a good ergonomical phone. It feels good in the hand and it looks good. So. Design, in my opinion, to me, is gonna be pretty good on the Galaxy Note 9 versus the Galaxy Note 10. The second reason why the Galaxy Note 9 may be a better buy than the Galaxy Note 10 is a headphone jack. Listen, I never thought that we'd come to this day that the most powerful phone on the planet, you look, you got business users, you got consumers, you got this supposed to be the win all, be all, all the specs, this supposed to be the, the device of choice when you wanna get work done, right? No headphone jack. Look, a lot of people might put in the comments and say we're easy. That's the trend. That's the era that we come in. And Samsung go put the Galaxy Buds as a free gift in the box. Look, miss me with that. I want a headphone jack. Look, it's just like one of my complaints about the Razer 2, right? It's a gaming phone but it doesn't have a headphone jack. I mean, this is one of the reasons why I like my LG phones. You got the quad deck, I can hook up my $500 pair of headphones and it sound good. And I can tell you that not having a headphone on the Galaxy Note 10 is the most disappointing thing that I ever heard. And I'm, I, I'm a witness a complete shift in Samsung phones, no headphone jack. On the Galaxy Note, no headphone on the Galaxy Note. This, this, this is weird. This is crazy. No headphone jack on the Galaxy Note 10, which makes the Galaxy Note 9 a good buy because you got a headphone jack. A third reason why the Galaxy Note 9 may be a better buy than the Galaxy Note 10, the price. Look, you could get a Galaxy Note 9 on Swapper between 430 to 450 bucks. Listen, man, we, we talk about 450 bucks for a Galaxy Note 9. I mean, that to me is a huge statement, especially when we know that the Galaxy Note 10 is gonna be upper tiers of 11, 12, even 1300 bucks. 5G model gonna be way up there. So it makes the Galaxy Note 9 a much appealing device because of the price. Look, a lot of y'all guys say, well, you got to pay to play. You got to pay to play. What's wrong with the Galaxy Note 9? I mean, it's a beast of a phone, right? It has the 845 processor with six gigs of RAM. You can even get the eight gig of RAM variant of the Galaxy Note 9. So when it comes down to the specs, miss me with all that stuff about it got the 855 and eight gigs of RAM and 12 gigs of RAM. Miss me with all that. It's still gonna run Android Pie and One UI, and it's still gonna have the Galaxy Note software on top of Android on the Galaxy Note 9. So the Galaxy Note 10 won't be any different when it comes down to uh, software and, and usability compared to the Galaxy Note 9. Now you might have one or two things that might 
be on the Galaxy Note 10 that's not coming to the Galaxy Note 9, but would you go out and spend $1,200, $1,300 just for that one additional feature? I mean, is that one feature on the Galaxy Note 10 may be appealing to go to a Galaxy Note 10 versus the Galaxy Note 9? I don't think so. The A45 6, 8 gigs of RAM is a powerful phone. So I've been clowning the Galaxy Note 9 about the performance, right, in a lot of my streams. And listen, man, here's the thing. If you rock with a, a OnePlus 7 or you go to OnePlus devices or even some of the other devices as fast and as smooth as those phones are, yes, you talk about the performance of the Galaxy Note 9 because of that, right? But we all know that the Galaxy Note 9 is a performance paradise, right? It performs very well, not as smooth as a, a OnePlus device but it gets the job done and it won't be no different on the Galaxy Note 10 855 8 gigs of RAM or 12 gigs of RAM listen this phone is still a beast of a device Galaxy Note 9 another reason why you might pick up the Galaxy Note 9 over the Galaxy Note 10 is the fingerprint scanner look man Miss me with this in-display fingerprint scanners. The fastest fingerprint scanner that I've used so far is the OnePlus 7 Pro. Look, man, on the Galaxy S10, the fingerprint scanners are very slow, especially compared to the fingerprint scanner on the back of the Galaxy Note 9. It's like night and day. Uh, and maybe, just maybe, that Samsung might speed up the fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy Note 10, but miss me with all that. The Galaxy Note 9 with the fingerprint scanner on the back is much faster faster than the Galaxy S10 and probably going to be faster than the Galaxy Note 9. So these optical in-display fingerprint scanners that we get on these phones doesn't compete to a physical fingerprint scanner either is in the front or in the back of the device. So in my opinion, I think that the physical fingerprint scanner that's on the Galaxy Note 9 will be much efficient, much better than the Galaxy Note 10. And last but not least, one of the reasons why you might pick up a Galaxy Note 9 versus the Galaxy Note 10 is the software, man. Think about it. The Galaxy Note 9 is running Android Pie with the, the, the pen software on top of Android. What is going to be different between the Galaxy Note 9 and the Galaxy Note 10? It's going to be the same software. You're going to have uh, one UI on top of Android, right? And look, if you notice that it, it, one UI is kind of universal across the board. So having the Galaxy Note 9 versus the Galaxy Note 10, it won't be any different different type of software. It's going to be the same software, man. Look, a lot of people might say, well, uh, Samsung might add a little something here or there, but the overall, it will be basically the same software. It won't be no different design of software on the Galaxy Note 10 versus the Galaxy Note 9. It'll be the same software. What you've seen on the Galaxy Note 9 with one UI and the pen software, it's going to be basically the same software on the Galaxy Note 10. Now, Obviously, with the 855, 8 gigs of RAM, of course things gonna perform a little better than the Galaxy Note 9. Listen, man, don't get caught up in all the hype of these specs. Well, Eric, I want a fast device. Remember back in 2018, we said the same thing with the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy Note 9. Uh, we saying the same thing, all this hyped up stuff that I want a fast phone, a fast phone. Listen, if you want a fast phone, get a Pixel or OnePlus device. But if you want a performing powerhouse, the Galaxy Note series of devices is the device for you. That's what I'm talking about. This is Eric Fabi's Computer Solution. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. But the Galaxy Note 9, better buy than the Galaxy Note 10. See you guys on the next video. Peace.